It's a wicker leather fantasy. How oh, you do that? <laughs> Sometimes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's do this. Oh, <laughs> credentials. Doctor, I feel your pain real good. Here to let you know that all parties involved with season three of In the Dollhouse with Lena have all been vaccinated or tested sugar. So, always so much to do when I get up into this dollhouse. I got my money, blessings, and urging, honey. Because you know what? This, at the end of the day, darling, will be right for everyone's blood type. But on that note, oh, guess who's talking again? Yes, the leak wish. What's that? Okay, sure. All right, keep it cute and put it on mute. Who's gonna be our guest today? Uh, Amanda Lepore? Oh, oh, oh my God. God! Where am I? <laughs> You're in the oh dollhouse, sugar. Oh Hi, gorgeous. Oh, how are you? Oh I mean, seriously, this is the right place oh for you to be in summon too. <laughs> I don't mind it. I <laughs> say so, sugar. Somebody put her back in the doll box, please. <laughs> Honey, talk about a gift. This is on the season premiere of season three, and you're here. Oh, thank you for having How me. How are you? I'm, I'm good. You look good. good. Thank you. All right, so that being said, since you look like a doll, what was the first memory that you have, and how old were you when you first experienced and knew about Barbies or dolls? Um, Probably like four. People usually say four or six, yeah. Yeah, like like four. It was definitely with, with Barbie. Barbie, yeah. And, my mother was mentally ill, so uh -huh. she went away a lot, and I had like a nanny. Right. And my father um, brought uh, to to make me happy, which was really sweet of him, because he wasn't too happy about me. <laughs> but um, the woman made me like a Barbie outfit. I didn't want to like be there when right. I met with the nanny. And then she offered to make a pink satin dress for my Barbie. <sighs> and then I was like, oh my god. I was so happy. Just spoke to you right then and, and there, right? I was right? really, 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 yeah. really happy. And soothing at the same time, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, right, what I wanted. Like, exactly. Like, like a dream. Right, especially, like, I've always found that a lot of people that I've spoken to, and even myself, like, you know, if there was ever any mascara or drama going on, it's a soothing moment to kind of relieve you from that mascara, and it's your safe zone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was definitely felt safe. She's... A rock star, honey. Hello. Yeah, That's how yeah. I learned how to style myself, do makeup and hair from her. Yeah. And now yeah. look at us, honey. Malibu Barbie and, right. well, Glam Barbie. <laughs> Shazam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my next question. What has this last year been like for you during the Lady P pandemic? Um, well, it was really scary at first because yeah. I don't really read the news. Right. So I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. I was actually working at a club um, right before, right when this was all happening yeah. and then um it was the last night and then they were talking about it and stuff and everything and once in a while like i i worked at this place called the follies and some of the people would work would not come and like they would like um, that less and say less. i wonder like if this is going to affect it right like, from w w working and then sure enough like the next day the next day the bots didn't happen and then right and then um the follies didn't happen and then it's surreal the isn't it the party yeah. didn't happen yep. and then a private party didn't happen like everything was being canceled and you're like wait a minute something's and really like, going and on i was like oh my god i was really scared yeah and i was like because oh, new york's never shut down what like am I that, gonna right do? or the world yeah so like i was home well, i was home and i was kind of like what am i gonna do what yeah. am i gonna do and i was so scared like i i was afraid were you by yourself yeah i was by myself and i was like afraid to spend money, like I would buy like all right. these boxes of cereal. And, and toilet paper. Like, <laughs> yeah, <just laughs> that, like, that was crazy. Just, like really like, like scared, like I better like be careful and be careful. And right. I was like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then, um, you know, I have all these clothes and what is that going to do? <laughs> right, exactly. You know, like, you know, so um, then, then I started, um, I got a call about the cameos, right. and then I said, well, it's about time that I do it. They, exactly. they were calling me all along, right. and they called, and then I said, oh, well, I'm going to turn it out. I'm going to get dressed up as if I'm going to do, like, a big show yeah. like, on Broadway. <laughs> it saved so many artists. Yeah, and then that really worked out for me, and I really enjoyed it, and, like, I was so happy to dress up. It, it felt good. Yeah, especially after, yeah. like, being in that place for so long where we didn't know what was going on. Us as creative people, as artists, we needed to find a way to still have our voice and to still feel creative. Yeah. You know, because we didn't know and everything was so uncertain. 
Yeah. You know, but it's really, I um, mean, we're very resilient. We've been around a very long time, sister. Yes, so, yes. you know, we're like cockroaches and share, honey. We'll be around for a long time, girl. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, on that note, I think it's time for a little game. You want to play a little game? For sure. This one's called Never Have I Ever. <laughs> Thank you, Bolik, for sending me my little gold box. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to hand you the paddle. It says have on one side and not on the other side. I'm going to ask you some questions. Oh, hold on a second. My big fur's moving. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to ask you some questions, and if you have, you switch, uh, switch it on that side. If not, you flip it on the other side. Okay. okay? All right, ready? All right. Never have I ever had friends with benefits. <laughs> Yeah, I had a girl. <laughs> You're my kind of girl, sugar. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Never have I ever had um, to cover a hickey. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Never have I ever hooked up with another celebrity. I got it, girl. <laughs> Who writes these questions? <laughs> Bonnie, but you're so sassy. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever been so drunk that you woke up and didn't recall that you were nude. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> well, guess what? You just won the booby prize. <laughs> All right, we'll be back after these commercial breaks, sugar tits. smoother, longer than shaving. Cotton rubbed on both legs proves it. The Nair leg is smoother. If you dare wear short shorts, Nair for short shorts. Nair with baby oil, Nair with aloe vera, and new Nair roll-on for bikini area and underarm. Hi, I'm having a fashion emergency and I need some rhinestones on some pumps quick, sugar. <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh, let me tish again. Yes, baby girl, she likes to talk. I mean, you know, she came before Siri and Alexa. <laughs> what? Oh, well, guess what, y'all? Keep it cute and put it on mute. I guess we got a second guest today. Bob the drag queen? Uh, Bob? Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on? Amanda, I told you that she's fiercer than oh Siri, honey. Boliqua don't play, honey. Bob, how are you, baby? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the dollhouse, sugar. Well, I see it says Say Something Hat Day. Hey, you did girl. Tony, ah, you know Amanda. Of course I know Amanda. Amanda, you look beautiful as always. Thank Sick you, thing. likewise. Do you see her lipstick? <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I have been dying to get you here for the longest time, so my first question I've got to ask you is, what was your first introduction or your first memory, and how old were you when you experienced Barbies or dolls? So when I was younger, I was I used to have a lot of Power Ranger toys and Ninja Turtle toys, and I really did love them. I genuinely loved my Power Rangers and my Ninja Turtles. But I remember asking my mom if I could have a Barbie doll, and my mom never really hesitated, but I did have some trepidation myself. So I would keep my Barbies in the closet. It's so like indicative of like really. Yes, yeah, so I would I would keep all my um my masculine toys my. Ninja Turtles, my Power Rangers, my X-Men in the boxes outside the room. And if you look deep in my closet, I had uh, like five Barbie dolls and an Easy Bake Oven. Yes, Easy Bake! <laughs> that was before I was going keto. Of course, of course. <laughs> I still have my Easy Bake Oven sugar. So that being said, what have you been doing and what has this pandemic been like for you for this last year, sweetheart? Well, it's been interesting. You know, I I, 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 um, I moved across the country. I live in Los Angeles now. Um, so that, that has happened. But I've also really, I didn't want to be one of those people who was refusing to get with the times because the times had got us together. The time gathered us like a ponytail, like a chignon, honey. So I, so I said, well, if we're going to be digital, we're going to be digital. So I started doing my, me and Monet exchange to our podcast, Sibling Rivalry, which I would love to have both of you as a guest. Oh, we would be honored. Come on, Amanda. <laughs> and I also, um, so I started doing my, my podcast, Sibling Rivalry, and I was also doing um, The Pit Stop, where I was reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race with uh, 
Viacom. So I really acclimated to digital life. Amanda and I were talking about that just to see how all of us artists have, um, you know, managed to, you know, be resilient and, you know, really kind of like tap into talents that we necessarily hadn't gone to yet, you know? You know? Yeah, for sure. And, I, and I've, I've really been enjoying seeing how resilient the queer community is. I've been I've been um, there with with you digital DJing, which has been absolutely amazing. Thank you. Baby. Because then you need that. Like, there came a point during this pandemic where it was so easy to lock yourself in your room 100%. or to yeah. or to not access people because we couldn't see them or touch right, them with right, our right, hands. Right, right. But we can still touch people. I was working on. Um, my HBO show. Right, I have right, show right. HBO. And Mazel Tov on that, sister. Oh, yeah, I love that show. And we got, thank you, and we got shut down during the show, like our final episode. What month was that? Was that in March? or? That sure. was in March. March in March, yeah, we yeah. got shut down. Yeah. Wow. That was wow. the gag. Like, I was like, oh, my God, it's like. It's real. Yeah. When it came to shutting down our production, it you know really became up. exactly. Like I was telling her, I was like, you know, New York doesn't shut down, life doesn't shut down. Like we always are, you know, doing the do. But this was like, holy shit, this shit is real. Yeah. And you didn't even know on to what degree. Let me tell you, if they shut down the subway, shit's getting real because <laughs> the New York subway right now. People fall on the tracks every day, and we still use the subway. <laughs> I've heard so that. So if they are, sh <laughs> if they are shutting down the subway system, bitch, if they shut down uh, Planet <laughs> Fitness so the muscle gays can't get their little uh, okay. muscle milk kick in, then honey, it's real. New York was real for that. Hello. Oh, hold on a second. Yes, Boliquish. What? What? Happy birthday, dear Lena. Happy birthday to you. God, Angel, thank you so much. I love you are so beautiful much. and you smell delicious too. Make thank a wish, please, oh, Lena. I'm doing keto. Oh, me too, sugar. But here, open up, ready? Here we go. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> Give her some. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're teasing you, honey. Let me taste it for you, because I'm on keto too. Mm, that was the best cake I've ever tasted. She didn't even taste it. She cheated. Look at her. Look at her dirty face and filthy whore. <laughs> Look at you, you filthy whore. <laughs> I couldn't possibly have any more. <laughs> Save it for later, sugar. <laughs> when these curtains are off, it's curtains. All right, ladies. <laughs> you ready for a game, sugar tips? Let's do it. Let's do it. This game is called Cody Catcher. <laughs> oh, thank you, Boliquish, for my little gold box. OK, so this is a throw black. You pick a color, mama. Oh, no, no, not that one. Ah! <laughs> that was the card from last time, sugar. I should have taken it out. That's what he said. Oh, <laughs> I knew it would be light pink, honey. You better work, Amanda. Okay. All right, so this is how it goes. You might know this old throw black bee. Oh, this little Yes, moment. girl. Do it. Pick a color, Mama. Um, purple. Purple. Okay, pick a number. Um, six. Six is for sex, sugar. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Kicked out someone before in bed. Good girl. She's having some good sex, y'all. <laughs> All right, Bob, you probably can't see the colors, but you've got blue, yellow, purple, or green to pick. I love yellow. Jello. Okay, you've got nine, six, two, or seven. Let's go with two. I'm not mad at two. Just the two of us. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> hey. Oh, hold on a second. All right. Um, have you ever uh, have you ever experienced discrimination? Oh well, I mean, for sure, <laughs> I've definitely experienced discrimination at some point in my life, whether it be for being queer, for being unbinary, for being black. Um, for being a drag queen. I, I would say that was probably the most shocking discrimination that I ever heard. When I heard that they were just, that the queer bars 
were discriminating against drag queens. That one shocked the shit out of me. That 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 I used to work at Boots and Saddle. Yeah. And someone told me, you know, back in the day, they didn't even allow drag queens in here. Nope. Which really blew my mind. Yeah. We've come a, a somewhat of a long way, but we still got a long way to go, honey, especially in our own community. Sometimes I feel like, you know, we're screaming and hollering for everybody else to recognize us and give us rights, but sometimes you got to do it in your own backyard. Yeah. And, and, and I, and I want to definitely give a shout out to anyone out there who, if you are, uh, especially if you're a cis queer man watching this uh, program or any program like this, you know, we act like we're going to be champions for trans women, for black trans women all the time, until it's time to actually do it. Yeah. You want to root when you see Tandy Amon Dupree fall from the ceiling into the splits. Amen. You want to go crazy when Peppermint's on stage do, on Broadway. You want to go ham when Lena's, um, you know, twirling, uh, 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 you know, on the Fire Island. When you see uh, Mandela Poor in the club, you're like, yes, yes, yes. But also, it extends beyond that, too. Like, these people who are putting their, um, creating their art and their work for you, also go home and have families and loved ones and brothers and sisters and, and children and mothers and fathers, you know? Bob, that was so eloquently put, honey. I mean, seriously, it is so true because you often see so many, and I hate to marginalize being a biracial person, but sometimes the Caucasian, you know, uh, gay community marginalizing off of the cackle of a fierce black woman and you know mm -hmm. dressing up of course in yags on halloween but then where are they when the fight needs to be happening for black trans women you know what i'm saying like if you're so down for the cause where are you when these women need their help and it's really interesting too being a new york city drag queen coming up through the ranks i realized that a lot of the stuff i was i didn't even realize how much stuff I was saying was coming from trans women, black trans women, um, because, you know, one drag queen says it, and then someone in the audience says yep. it, and then the other it's drag queen says it. she told two it. friends, and he told two friends, yep. And then someone's like, oh, that's an old Lena bit. And I'm yeah. like, oh, I, uh, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> you know, I, I just you know? telling Amanda, I've been shape-shifting for a while, honey. The gig is up. <laughs> <laughs> You know us old witches, honey. We've been around for a minute, honey. <laughs> you guys, I listen, we could do this all day long. I've got to wrap it up. But before I go, I want to ask you both, what's going on and where can people see you, sweetheart? Um, well, you could uh, see me on Cameo and Instagram. And um, hopefully we'll all be able to go back to work. That's and right. And see normal. each other soon. Yes. I got my fat scene. So Yay. I'm ready and I've been Gorgeous. making such a beautiful gown. Hello. Yes. And paste is, honey, because she's ready to work, honey. <laughs> Bob, where can we see you? What's going on with you next? I know it for, sorry, for, don't forget, honey, Amanda's new lipstick, honey, is the look. Bob, she's got a new lipstick out. Yeah. I'm going to scoop me up some in this moment. Come on, scoop. Um, if you want to check me out, you can always go to my, my podcast, Sibling Rivalry. You can go to siblingrivalrypodcast.com. Thank you. It's with my best friend, Money Exchange, and of course, over my YouTube page. So feel free to check out my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash sibling rivalry podcast, or go over to my YouTube page. Just type in Bobby Drag Queen, and I'm there. Oh. Always causing a scene on the internet. Girl, you are like Visa everywhere you want to be, honey. <laughs> honey, everywhere you want to be. And I'm, and I'm also like gonorrhea. Some places you don't want me to be. Oh, and they got an app and a pill for that. <laughs> You guys, thank you so much. This is the Dow House, you guys. This is what it's all about, sugar, honey. Bringing beautiful love and light together and gorgeous cherubs, honey. Let's make a toast, you all. You guys, to good health and friendship and love and light, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm Lena. This is the Dow House. Blessings, love, and light and brown sugar kisses. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Dr. J? No! What were you... Just at the hospital, and now I'm in this Okay, place. honey, I want to be your patient. Look how good you look. Gigi gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not a cougar. Remember, I was once not, young. Not in Not, not, not. Leave it out, sugar. Oh, my God. I can't. Never have I ever had a sex tape, sugar. Mm -hmm. Do the drapes match the carpet? Ah! <laughs>